All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So these were the first cards that popped out. So we got someone you hooked up with uh, is in love with you. The feeling is mutual. They pay psychics for info on you. Oh my God, y'all, this person is not playing. Okay, so it's someone that you already know. And then we have, this will shock you. So I feel like this is someone who's not showing how they feel. And I feel like you are completely oblivious to how this person feels about you. All right, so give me a second, guys. I'm just going to unplug something. All right, so yeah, it's definitely someone that you already know or possibly like someone that you're going to hook up with uh, in the near future. And it's like you have feelings for this person. They have feelings for you, but nothing is being said here. And it's like y'all are completely ob oblivious. So, all right, so I'm going to jump into this reading. So give me more messages for my collective about this secret admirer, please. me one or two please thank you okay that's too many so hold on give me one or two something wants to pop out so hold on a second all right so I'll take these cards. So let's take this to the next level and don't be shy, baby. And low key loves you or low key. They want to discover the depths of you. So I do feel like this is connected to this. This will shock you because you don't realize that they low key love you. They do want to take it to the next level with you. Um, I feel like this one wasn't trying to come out. So hold on a second. I'm going to clarify this one. Some of you guys could be shy around this person, so it is possible. Um, but I do feel like these cards are connecting with this reading. So they want to discover the depths of you. Let's take this to the next level. Maybe you guys are too shy to admit to this person that you have deeper feelings. Yeah, this person feels very drawn to you. Give me one or two. I just made these cards, guys, so I'm trying to break them in. Um, new cards are, like, kind of slippery, so I usually only take up to three cards at a time, and it takes a few days to break them in and um, have the paper wear off a bit so they're not all slipping out when I'm shuffling. So that's just the way I do my readings, guys. So if you see me putting cards back, it's because I'm very strict with how many cards I take at a time. I will only take usually one or two and three at most, okay? Give me one or two. Like I know my spirits are trying to tell me something, but I just don't want to take all of these. The new cards, like, they tend to stick to each other because they're, they're like, smooth and somewhat sticky in, in a way, but this is why I got to I gotta wait a few days. All right, give me one or two, please. Let me see how many we got. We got four. Okay. All right, these ones wanted to come out. I, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> did you see the way that flipped out? Okay, so we got motorcycle, you will feel different. Once I get you in bed, you'll never leave. This person might ride a motorcycle, either now or in the near future. Maybe it's you, take that as it resonates. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, like I said, it could be someone that you're about to hook up with. 
and this is how they feel once i get you in bed you'll never leave you're gonna feel different around this person you're gonna feel like there's a much more deeper connection with this person versus other individuals that you could have encountered in the past All right, give me one or two. Give me one or two cards, please. Give me one or two. Your sex is like a drug, okay? I feel like this is a mutual energy. I feel like the hookup was really something that connected you guys in a way in terms of never feeling that way about anyone else. Like the sex is off the chain here. Get ready, major breakthroughs. You don't realize how special you are. So I feel like these cards were trying to pop out. This one as well. I want children with you, okay? So they want a serious connection with you. So some of you guys could be struggling at this time. Just know there will be breakthroughs here. You don't realize how special you are to this person is what I'm getting. Whenever I buy a tarot deck or any other oracle deck, the cards are always like sticky in the beginning and then they start to wear off like the paper. So it doesn't, it's not just for these type of cards. I feel like it's like all cards that I buy, they tend to stick to each other. And this is why I'm very strict with how many cards pop out at a time in terms of taking those cards. Thank you. Okay. You've gone out of many situations. Do it again. And hickeys. Okay. So there's going to be some hickeys going on in this connection. Um, I feel like you guys are struggling at this time. And there's going to be some type of major breakthrough in the near future. Okay. So I feel like you guys are very resilient. This is a separate message from this secret admirer. I feel like you guys are dealing with a lot at this time. And it's like... Yeah, I feel like you're you're going to have like a big breakthrough in the near future. Rags to riches. I feel like that one was trying to pop out. Give me one. Okay, that's too many. Your sex is amazing. He's fine AF. Okay, so this is how they feel about you. And this could be talking about them or, or it could be talking about you. Take that as it resonates. Your style is fire. Okay, so this person loves the way you dress. They like your sense of style here. Mm. 
been waiting for someone like you. So this is how this person feels. Give me one or two, please. Oops. Oh my God. They're trying to tell me something and it's just, I know the cards are getting stuck to each other. So bear with me guys. This literally only happens when I have new cards and then after a few days, they don't, it just doesn't do this anymore because the paper basically wears down. Oops. Okay. I think we got a message here. All right, so you work too hard to hold on to things or people not meant for you and tradesmen. So some of you guys, like I said, you could be feeling stuck. You feel like there's a lot going on right now and you guys are struggling at this time. And I do feel like you need to let go of things or people that are not meant for you. This person could be working in trades. This has been heavy in my readings lately. I just did a live reading. Um that was talking about a tradesman or someone working in welding or engineering that you're about to meet in the near future. Thank you. Okay, so black, blue truck. This person could have a black or blue truck. Uh, give me one or two. So we got inked up first class and they want you so bad. I feel like this live reading that I just did is connected to this because all of these came out. Okay, so some of you guys. Um, so in that live reading, I was warning you guys that one or two of you might meet this person overseas and it's someone not to be trusted. It's someone who's like full of it and they're all talk and not like delivering basically but i feel like for the rest of you guys that meet them in your own country um it's someone who is very faithful and like solid okay so i feel like for there is a specific message in terms of like one or two people that might meet this person overseas like vacationing for example this year or like earlier next year and you might meet this person and it's just someone who wants like a green card for example or they're just using you for money in some type of way 
or they're just like full of themselves basically. So I was picking up on that. So be wary of that in terms of traveling this year. For the rest of you, I feel like it's someone that is closer to you, like in your own country. This person wants you bad. This person might have a lot of tattoos. So I was mentioning also that this person might have like tattoos in the lower area of their arms and on the back um, area. So like on the upper area of their back, they might have like tattoos somewhere. Give me one or two, please. Thank you. Okay. This person's obsessed with you. So this person's absolutely like in love with you here. Um, and like I said, it could be someone that you already hooked up with. I feel like, okay, so because it's taking so long to shuffle and get a card, what I'm going to do for the next reading that I upload I'm going to shuffle and get all my cards first and then I will start the reading just so you guys are not watching through me shuffling. And I will do this until the cards start to break down because this is pissing me off and it takes like a few days, like at least like four days for this to not happen anymore. Um, So just bear with me all. So next time I do a reading, I'm going to do that and I'll just get all the cards for you first on the table shuffle and see what comes out and then I will start my reading all right so I'm gonna stop here in terms of this type of card reading and then I will do a tarot reading now so keep in mind guys um it is very relative to the live that I just did I'm gonna put the link to that live reading in the description below so you can see more about this person So yeah, we're going to do a tarot reading on this individual and get some more messages. It's been a year since I wrote out any type of new card, so I'm definitely overdue for making um, new cards, so yeah all right so let me see what's going on give me more messages for my collective about this individual All right, give me one or two, please. Thank you. All right, so we got the judgment card. Give me more messages. Thank you. I see a lot of tarot readers shuffle and they have like a zillion cards popping out at once. And when I was learning tarot, for some reason, I intuitively thought like, ain't no way all of that was trying to pop out. Because the way some of these tarot readers on YouTube are shuffling is very exaggerated. And it just looks, it's very clear to me that they're, with their hand, they're trying to make that card pop out. But I believe in doing spirit work like tarot reading or the Ouija board, you're not the one controlling the cards. You're not supposed to be controlling what pops out. It's your spirits, right? So you will notice when I do shuffle, they will violently pop out, like abnormally pop out. And it just like, the only way that could have happened is through my spirits. And I just know it. It's not my hand doing it. It's not a technique that I'm doing. And if you don't have patience for me when I'm doing your readings and, you know, trying to get a message, then I'm sorry to tell you, this is like, my channel is probably not for you. I do things very like specific because I've learned how my spirits 
like control my cards basically okay so I might even like crop this video specifically just so you guys don't have to sit through the shuffling because I don't have that happen in my readings other than when I actually make new cards and it's embarrassing for me. I don't want you guys to sit through that and you know so I might um crop this video if I'm able to. I don't have like a specific app for that but we'll see if I can do that. All right, so we got one. Thank you. We got Ace of Cups. The funny thing is in that in that live reading a lot of these cards popped out like the magician one the the magician popped out the world card popped out page of swords popped out ten of swords um so it's definitely connected to that reading that i just did so yeah you can see the link below in the description if you want to watch part one to this reading and see more about this situation and scorpio came out uh, with the handwritten cards that I had, this is Scorpio energy, so it could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Alright. So there's absolutely a new direction you're turning here. There's a big change, okay? So an end to a situation, an end to hardships, and moving towards a different direction, which is very fulfilling for you. Um, some of you guys could be called to take a break at this time. You guys might be overburdening yourself with work. So spirit could be calling you to just like balance that out. Um, and then I see the world card here. So it's like ending, completion, extreme pleasure in this connection things coming to a completion this is someone who's going to message you very soon is what i'm getting it's someone who's definitely spying on you online um it's someone who sees you as like very sharp and intelligent also so that's also something that i'm seeing here it's there's so many indications of ending a cycle and a new beginning and a big change okay so rising from hardships um, and ending like the worst is over. So if you guys are like struggling at this time, this is an indication that the worst is over. Okay, so there's definitely a major, major change here. Difficulties in the past is a thing of the past, okay? Um, so yeah, Ace of Cups. So a big love coming in. We have the Magician. So manifesting this new big opportunity here uh, with this lover. Again, with this major transformation, y'all, like, are you ready for this? We are just jumping into the next year. So get ready for this big change. So um, a dawn of a new era. There's rebirth more than once here. So some of you guys might even get pregnant. Okay. And then we have nine of cups. Okay. So hold on a second. I'm going to clarify this one. I am not too sure about what's going on with this. So hold on a second. But I do see 10 of Pentacles. So this is traditional comfort, wealth, financial stability, responsible or wants responsibilities, prosperity. Some of you guys might even get a salary increase, happy legacy, trust. So a lot of financial stability in this connection. All right. Can you clarify this nine of cups, please? the tower it's a sudden change okay so enlightenment big change like what is going on here okay so this is crazy give me more messages about this big change please so it's like a wish come true basically
Yeah. Okay. So you guys are very strong willed. You're very sharp minded. Um, you're intelligent. You're independent. You're very cut pros. So you manifested this big change because you started setting boundaries. You started removing what you didn't want and adding what you did want. So I feel like wishes are coming true here. Whoa, something definitely wants to pop out. The Hierophant. Yeah, so you're dealing with someone who's very traditional. You're going to meet someone who's very traditional, old school. Um, this is someone who's like a leader or a boss. They could be somewhat religious or they have like strong morals, conservative, um, very wise. They could be a Taurus, a Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Uh, I see Virgo here. Libra energy, Scorpio energy it could be one of those signs. This is someone who's absolutely watching you at this time and they just know that they want to marry you and have children with you. Okay, so again, here with this brand new start, the full card, new beginnings, could be even talking about financial freedom. Some of you guys could be elevating here. Okay, so if you guys feel like you're unsure at this time, take this reading and claim it. Okay, so like think about what you want and not what you don't want, basically. So if you're wishing for a big change, this is going to happen here. Okay, and then we have 1010 angel number. Look up all the meanings to, to uh, that angel number. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I will follow up with you in the next love reading.